guys, it has been so long since I've done a perfume haul. That no buy that I did a couple of months ago, not gonna lie, it was an absolute waste of time because the amount of shopping that I've done this past month has been absolutely crazy. I've just gone and spent all my money, haven't I? Oh, this haul is so exciting. I know that you guys are sitting there and you're like, Lauren, my wallet can't take it anymore. But baby, Christmas is on the way, all right? So put some of these on your wish list. Ooh, I have some absolute gems for you today and I'm so excited to put you guys onto these because... But I've gone ahead and ordered a pizza because, I mean, why the hell not? You guys know that I love doing a little mukbang whilst talking about perfume. But essentially, I'm just going to go ahead and nibble on this pizza whilst telling you all of the new perfumes that are in my collection. Right, so the waffle machine is in the repair shop. So we're not going to waffle on about all of these fragrances. We're going to keep this quite short because we have a lot to get through. Are you guys team Pizza Hut or team Domino's? Or do you guys like Papa John's? Papa John's, in my opinion, it's a little bit crusty, I'm not going to lie. So I'm going to start this video off by talking about all of the PR packages that have been sent recently and I received a PR package from the lovely team at Roger who I love and I probably would share my pizza with and that is shocking because I don't really share my food with no one. First fragrance I'm going to talk about is Reckless and this is from their Essence line and this is a very bright citrusy light and airy vanilla fragrance that kind of goes along the lines of Love Don't Be Shy by Killian but I find that this is a little bit more of a fresher almost cologne style of that so if you like fragrances like love don't be shy you love that kind of white floral vanillic composition but you're looking for something that you can wear in the summertime this is it it's not everyday beast mode guys and I'm starting to learn that sometimes you need something that it's just gonna you know freshen you up a little bit have you smelling all saucy and edible reckless is that fragrance it's really really gorgeous i'm so glad i have it in my collection so thank you so much roger absolute favorite was newer by roger and guys this smells so so expensive this is a very very expensive smelling floral ambergris fragrance the ambergris is giving this fragrance like an airy kind of almost saltiness but the main player of this fragrance for me is the rose and this is the kind of fragrance that i can imagine myself wearing when i'm going to the ritz for afternoon tea i'm drinking some saucy very very expensive tea and scones I would wear something like this. If you want to smell expensive, no one can afford me because I'm levels, then New Art by Roger is the fragrance for you. Absolutely stunning and I'm so glad that I own this in my collection. Thank you so much, Roger. I love you guys. Guys, this pizza is getting me so excited. It's really hitting the spot. Mm, mm. By the way, guys, am I the only one that doesn't eat the crust from my pizza unless it's stuffed crust? I don't know. I find the crust a little bit dry, but if I'm really, really hungry, I'm going to eat the crust, like how I am now. But usually I leave the crust on the side and I look like a psycho, but it's all right. Yeah, I feel like eating them today. Maybe I'll just eat like this bit. You know, we'll see. Anyway, guys, so I received a package from a house called Pearl Scents Parfum. And this is a house that was created by the team over at Gallagher Fragrances, Daniel and Minty. They're like a husband and wife duo. And Minty was smelling the Gallagher fragrances and felt that they were a bit masculine leaning. So she wanted to add a little feminine touch to fragrances. And Pearl Scents Parfums was born. All right, so the first one we've got here is Bucca Love. And... This is for my gourmand lovers. Daniel messaged me and he was like, I think that this is going to be your favourite. This is an extremely sweet, almost like a cake soaked in syrup kind of sweet fragrance. The honey that's in this is almost coming off quite... Is the word molasses giving me a little bit of like an animalic undertone to my nose anyway? Kind of reminding me of the honey that's in Bee by Zoologist. Very potent and loud. I think that this does smell like a buckalaf, guys. You know how buckalafs are very, 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 very sweet. This is very, 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 very sweet. And I'm going to be honest with you guys. This isn't for me. I personally find this fragrance a little bit too sweet for my taste anyway, which is like, <gasps> shock horror, you're the gourmand queen. There's levels to the amount of sweet that I can tolerate. However, if you're into your too frottingly sweet kind of fragrances and you want to smell like a buckle of, then this is the fragrance for you. But my favourite fragrance from them was Aqua Rose, which I was really shocked about. I thought that the other one would be my favourite, but this was because this smells like a summer breeze on the beach. Summer breeze makes me feel high. Yo, that is a tune, but, but that is essentially what this fragrance smells like. So it's 
a rose based fragrance that is very aquatic and exotic it's got this kind of salty sea like quality to it this to me smells like one of those ladies that sit by the beach she's a surfer girl you know she's got wavy hair maybe the waves are due to her being in the seawater for too long or maybe the waves are her spending hours in the room with her hair curlers trying to get the perfect waves however she keeps burning her hands I'm getting PTSD thinking about all the times I've burnt my hands from curling my hair but that is essentially what this fragrance smells like one of those cool surfer girls this fragrance just smells perfect for when you're lazing around by the beach you don't want anything that's too cloying but you just want something that's going to keep you fresh and smelling really really nice all day long and i think that this may be a contender as one of the fragrances that i take to dubai yo look how big this slice is bruv you know what guys it's starting to get a bit cold so the cheese is getting like hardened which is annoying but i'm gonna still eat it let me know in the comments what your go-to pizza toppings are. But we're done with the PR, so now let's talk about some purchases that I've made in the past two months. The first one's my house called KDJ Inspired, and it's called Love Don't Be Shy Extreme. Yeah, this is inspired by that fragrance. And let me tell you this, right? Me, personally... I'm not really into the inspired fragrances. I always like to give them a chance because I think to myself, if I can save some cash muller, then sign me up. But sometimes I'm thinking, mm, you're being a bit cheeky trying to rip off these fragrances. My man was in the lab creating this fragrance for 18 months, bought out the fragrance, and then Jerome from N smelt it and thought, oh, I'm gonna copy this. I don't know, it's a little bit booky in my opinion. Can anyone else relate? But you know what? I like a bargain. I like saving money. So I like to give these fragrances a chance. And my girl, Annie, who has an amazing Instagram blog that I'm gonna link in my description actually spoke about this on her TikTok a while ago and the way she's selling it like oh it's longer lasting than the original I was like sign me up as you guys know I love the original love don't be shy I'm balancing my pizza on my knee by the way but I was a bit skeptical getting this guys this is the truth I didn't want to come across like one of those MLMs that slide in your DMs like hey babe have you heard of FM fragrances they're so much better than the originals and they're half the prize but guys this is the truth I've been wearing this a lot lately this is so much more longer lasting than the original it's a lot more potent than the original I have the x straight version of this fragrance here so yeah guys if you're interested in buying love don't be shy for half the price with better longevity say no more but you didn't hear it from me okay Shh. I bought a backup bottle of Eugene Intense. I now have two of these because I couldn't be without this in my fragrance collection. And I've decided that this is gonna be my signature scent whilst I'm in Dubai. It's just one of the sexiest tropical fragrances that I've ever smelled. I feel that it's gonna perform so well whilst I'm in Dubai. I just feel like what better fragrance is there to wear whilst I'm shaking my ass on a yacht in Dubai than Eugene Intense. I just thought I might as well mention that I got another bottle of this in my haul. So I finally got myself a bottle of Initio Psychedelic Love and I have a really funny story about this one so this is a fragrance that maybe a few years ago I smelt it and I didn't like it I just didn't rate this scent because I wasn't really into florals but guys now I am a little bit obsessed with florals I'm not gonna lie I'm kind of in a very floral phase of my perfume journey at the moment and when I smelt this again this year I was absolutely obsessed this is a very unique floral fragrance in that it has this very nutty, almondy quality to it. I think that there's heliotrope in this. There's also some hedione for that sexy kick. But then there's also like this boozy undertone. There isn't actually alcohol in this, but I do get some boozy nuances. As I said, this is one that's very unique to me. I don't have any florals like this in my collection. And yeah, I'm just so glad that I finally seen the light with Psychedelic Love because when I did my top five initio video, everyone was like, where's Psychedelic Love? And I'm like, not gonna lie, I'm not a huge fan of it but maybe I need to redo that video now because this is creeping up. So I recently bought a bottle of Zerge of Amber Star and this was being sold separately to Star Musk which got me very very excited. As soon as I saw it listed on Facebook I bought it straight away because when I smelt this in the Zerge of store I was absolutely obsessed. This is an extremely 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 well crafted amber fragrance. Completely unisex to me. It's very balsamic it's slightly smoky from that myrrh but guys if you follow me on instagram you would have seen that i was trying to sell this fragrance and the reason why it's not because i don't love it because i do it's because it's so expensive. I made an impulse purchase on this because I saw that it was being sold without Star Mask and I was like, get me a bottle of this now. But then I realized, oh shoot, 
I'm going to Dubai, I have to pay for all of these tests, so I need to make money quickly. So I was just thinking to myself, you know what, I'm gonna sell this and I'll buy it back later. So far this has not sold, which is absolutely shocking because a lot of people love this fragrance, but I think it is just because it's so expensive. But because no one's bought it, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and keep it. But this is definitely in the top 10 amber fragrances of all time. It's absolutely fantastic. And I mean, what do you expect? It's Zaj off, so. Ah! Okay, so now it is the most exciting part of this video because if you guys have been here from the start, by the way, 5K gang, Thank you so much for 5k guys. If you guys have been here from the start, then you know that on a Lauren Redolence haul, I leave all of my favorites to the end and it is that time for me to talk about my favorite fragrances from this haul. We have two new Ormond Janes that have joined the family and can I just say how obsessed obsessed I am with the house. The house could be top five for me guys, I'm not gonna lie. Like every fragrance that Ormond J makes is a banger. The house's DNA, you know a house just has a DNA. Their DNA is just class, elegance and sophistication. And when I first smelt this fragrance, I was speechless. This is Byzance, Byzance? <laughs> by Ormond Jane, of course. And this is one that is completely different from anything that I own in my collection. You guys know me. You guys know that I am very much into my very heavy projecting, dark, mysterious kind of fragrances. Usually I'm like, if it ain't projecting, if it ain't broken off people's necks, I'm not interested. But there are times where you just want something more soft, intimate, everyday, signature scent worthy, and this is it. This juice is absolutely magical. To me, what I get from this fragrance is a very milky, woody, slightly ambery experience. You get a lot of milk, combined with this velvety undertone. I think that there's some cashmere in. It literally smells like you're wearing some sort of cashmere scarf in the autumn time. It's very latonic, slightly gourmand from the sweeter qualities, but it's more of like a diet gourmand. It's nothing that's too, too sweet and overbearing. It's comforting, smooth, elegant, sophisticated. Guys, as you can see, I've worn a lot of this. I've been wearing this in the office. I've been getting a lot of compliments on this one. The projection on this is not a usual Lauren Redolence recommendation. I'm not gonna lie to you. This is a lot more soft and intimate. If you're looking for a diet gourmand, something that's not too sweet, that you can wear every day in the office, a signature scent, then Byzance by Ormond Jane is the fragrance for you. Absolutely fantastic and I just fallen absolutely head over heels with this fragrance. And the other one I actually don't have yet because it's on its way, but I thought I might as well include it in this video. It is Taif by Ormond Jane. Now, I actually tried Taif Elixir alongside the original Taif because I wanted to compare and see which one I wanted to get. And I thought that I'd prefer the Elixir because obviously you know I love raw Elixir, but Taif Elixir is a bit too animalic for me. But Taif, the original, is where the money's at, baby. Taif, to me, is a very gourmand rose that doesn't go into a syrupy direction, if that makes sense. So whilst the rose is gourmand-leaning, there's a lot of other notes that are supporting the rose, which makes it a little bit more unique. So there is dates added to this fragrance, which, as you know, dates smell absolutely addictive. But then saffron in this fragrance, which, you know, is one of my favourite notes and really just adds a sexy spiciness to that rose and dates but yeah the prominent notes in this are the saffron the rose the dates and then there's an ambery base it's a very sexy fragrance but it still has this everyday quality that Ormond Jane has I feel that Ormond Jane just makes some really amazing signature scent worthy fragrances so yeah guys I'm really excited for my bottle of Taif to come in mail but essentially if you love Ormond Jane you love rose you love dates then you need to try Taif or try to Tie you for Lexa, whatever you want to do. What you gonna do? Uh uh, cause I'm gonna rock with you. Whatever you wanna do, uh uh, where I set the crib, uh uh, I'm gonna do, uh uh, da 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 da, uh uh, cause I'm gonna rock with you. Mm -mm -mm. Let me just say that that song is a banger. Okay, so we have two more favorite fragrances that are new, and this one. 
I actually do feel that I've secretly ranked these favourites in my head because this is definitely my second favourite fragrance in this haul. This is Atlas Garden by YSL. Guys, this fragrance moves me on some next level, you know. Right, so my girl Pika Fragrances made a video where she spoke about having a sample of this fragrance and she described it so well. And I was like, hmm, I need to try all of the YSL line and yeah, just give them a go. And let me tell you, right, last week I was at the YSL counter, I smelled all of their exclusive fragrances. They sprayed this one on a card. It was a love at first sniff. Guys this one is i don't i don't even have any words for this you know i really really don't this fragrance is so unique and i'm not sure why because the notes are not anything that you haven't smelt before but when you combine all of the notes that are in this fragrance it makes this masterpiece listen to me right now right come closer okay if you like orange blossom and neroli in your fragrances this is top tier top tier you know why this is top tier because this is combined with the note of dates and you guys know i love dates in my fragrances because they smell really really syrupy and gourmand so imagine the neroli and the orange blossom which orange blossom gives off this almost like powdery marshmallowy vibe but combine that with the dates guys guys this fragrance is no joke i wore this i think it was last week when i was walking around harrods and this woman that was behind me she literally ran up to me she tapped me she's like excuse me i need to know what perfume you've got on because you smell absolutely amazing and it was this i think this is gonna slowly make its way to being one of the best florals in my collection and one of the best orange blossom fragrances that i've ever smelled it is absolutely incredible so high quality please ladies and gents if you're into that floral sauce then get yourself a sample of Atlas Garden because it is slowly becoming one of my favourite fragrances at the moment. I love it. Okay, so you guys want to know what my number one favourite fragrance is from this haul. Ni Charnay Nefs. If you guys watch my perfume discoveries video, then you guys know how obsessed I was with this fragrance. When I first smelt it, it was a love at first sniff. I'm just as obsessed with it now that I have a bottle of this. This is a fragrance that you need in your life, ASAP. If you can find it at a good price, you better pick it up. Let me break it down like this, guys. If I was to create a fragrance, it would smell something like this. And these are the kind of fragrances that I smell and I wish majority of fragrances that are on the market would have this level of complexity and quality. This is truly masterpiece level for me. It has a lot going on. So it's one that you need to smell maybe a couple of times to really get your nose around it. But once you do, you are gonna be absolutely blown away this is classified as an amber vanilla fragrance but that classification makes it sound so boring in the opening you're going to get a lot of spice from that saffron but then you're also going to get some cool man touches from the honey which you know is already selling it to me but instantly you're going to get this smell of whiskey that is combined with the rose you're also going to get some floral touches some spices to this but this is an absolute belter just a very very special fragrance that you only need a couple of sprays to really get the full effect in this one i oversprayed this on my birthday and lord have mercy i am still deciding whether i love side effects more than ness i think i like side effects a little bit more but this is a contender as well i'm not gonna lie guys i just want to end this video by saying thank you so so much for 5,000 subscribers. I am going to try and not get too soppy on camera because I've been a little bit of a mess this week. Hitting 5k was very, very emotional to me because honestly, I didn't think that I was going to get there so quickly. I'm just internally grateful for you guys. I just feel really, really lucky to have such a supportive community. You guys are just the best people in the world. But yeah, guys, thank you for 5k. It means the world to me. If you're not subscribed yet, 
and you enjoy this content, then please do let me know if you've tried any of these fragrances, any new fragrances that are in your collection. I need to know because I need even more fragrances. <laughs> I think I'm probably gonna do another perfume haul towards the end of the year, but for now, the full focus is on Dubai and I'm gonna create a video where I talk about all of the fragrances that I'll be taking with me to Dubai. So if you wanna see that video, then let me know by leaving this video a huge thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.